So we're going to start with a slip knot. Insert your hook and chain 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So once you have your 13 stitches, you're going to block off that very last one and make three more chains. And then you're going to yarn over, skip the three chains you just made and make a double crochet into the stitch which you had blocked off. So insert your hook in there and make a double crochet. Then chain two, yarn over. In that same stitch, you're going to make two more double crochets. Then you're going to chain four, yarn over, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and make a double crochet into the next stitch. Like that. And then chain five, just one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, go back in that same, same stitch and make another double crochet. And then chain four, yarn over, and you're going to skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to make two double crochets into this last stitch. Then chain two and make two more double crochets all in the same stitch. Oof. And that's the end of our first row. And that's what you should be having. So we're now off to row two, chain four, turn your work, yarn over, and you're going to make two double crochets in the next chain two space. Chain two, two more double crochets all in the same space. Then chain four, yarn over, and you're going to make 12 double crochets in this in this space here in the middle space that's one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we now have twelve double crochets here. You can cross check just to make sure that that there are twelve chain full. So yarn over and make another shell into the chain two space. Chain two, two more double crochets all in the same space. Then chain one, yarn over, and you're going to place your last double crochet on top of the very first chain or the last chain you had here on our first row. And that's the end of row two and your work should be looking like this now we're off to row three you're going to chain up four turn your work and you're going to yarn over and make a shell into the next chain two space then chain two two more double crochets uh, all in the same space and then chain four then yarn over and from here you're going to make your first double crochet on top of the very first double crochet that you have 
so yarn over this is my first double crochet make a double crochet on top of it chain one yarn over make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet and repeat until you have 12 double crochet on top of each stitch here Okay, so at the end of these double crochets, you should be having 12 double crochets as well that we just made here on top of each stitch. So you can cross check just to make sure that you have the right number. Then chain four, yarn over and make a shell in the chain two space from our previous row. chain one and end the row with a double crochet on top of the very last chain so insert your hook in there and make a double crochet and then chain four that's one two three four turn your work yarn over and make a shell in the chain two space Chain four. I don't know what's wrong with this yarn today. So that's two, three, four. So from here, you're going to make a single crochet in the chain one space. So you're going to skip the double crochet. Okay, so you're going to make a single crochet into the chain one space. So you're skipping this double crochet and placing your single crochet in the chain one space like that. And then you're going to chain up four. And you're going to make another single crochet in the chain one space. And then chain four make another single crochet in the chain one space so basically that's what we're doing here chain four skip the double crochet and make a single crochet in the chain one space So this is my very last one here, chain four, yarn over and make a shell in the chain two space. Chain one and end the row with a double crochet so at the end of row four this is what you should be having your work should be looking like that now we're off to row five chain four yarn over turn your work and make a shell into the chain two space chain two two more double crochets and they're going to chain four 
So every time we get to the, um, well, this is the pineapple design that we have started with. And every time we get to this uh, middle part, we're going to make single crochets and chains. So once you're done with the shell, chain four and make a single crochet in the very first chain that you made from your previous row. So make a single crochet in there and then chain four. Make a single crochet into the next loop. I'll be calling them loops. Then chain four and make a single crochet into the next loop and you continue with that until you have until you get to the very last the very last loop which is this one here this one so this is one two three four then single crochet one two three four single crochet two three four single crochet one, two, three, four. Single crochet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So once you get to the very last one, you're going to chain four one two three four yarn over and make the shell in the next chain two space from our previous row chain one yarn over and like i said you have to end every row with a double crochet and start with a chain so at the end of row five that's how your work should be looking so for row six we're going to repeat row five one two three four turn your work make a shell into the next chain two space chain two Two more double crochets all in the same space and then chain four and you're going to single crochet in this first loop that we have right there chain four make a single crochet into the next loop chain four make a single crochet into the next loop chain four and that's what you have to repeat until until this these all these loops have single crochets in them one two three four So that's my last loop. So from there you're going to chain four, yarn over, make a shell of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets all in the neck, all in the same stitch, and then chain one and end the row with a double crochet on top of the chain three that you made from your previous row. Oops, this is a little bit tight, but I got it. And that's how your work should be looking at the end of row one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, at the end of row six, this is what you should be having. So from here, we're going to repeat row six until you have normal loops to work into. 
you're going to notice that it's um we're decreasing it like it's becoming smaller at the top so continue with this until you have no more loops to work into and then i'll get back and show you guys what to do next so um this is what i have now i'm on row 14 and i wanted to work on this with you guys so i'm left with only one loop here in the middle as you can see so um, i chained four here and i'm going to make my last single crochet right in the in the loop and then chain four and make the shell So this is how your work should be looking at this point. So we're now going to continue. You're going to chain four, turn your work, and this time you're going to make two double crochets in the shell in the chain two space. So once you're done with the two double crochets, this time you're not going to chain. You're just going to yarn over and cross over to the opposite shell and make two double crochets like no chaining and then you're going to chain one and end the row with a double crochet on top of the of the chain So at the end of it, that's how your work should be looking. So from here you're going to chain one and cut the yarn. So guys, we're now going to work on the um, body of this top. So we're just going to extend it a little bit and make it bigger and more comfortable to wear. So now what you'll need to do is make sure that the, the right side of your, of your design is the one that's facing you. So this is my right side and this is the wrong side. So now you're going to count the shells. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and in the eighth one, that's where you're going to insert your hook. So you're going to make a knot and reattach the yarn. Like that. Then chain one to secure the yarn. And from here you're going to chain three. So that's one, two, three. And then you're going to go back in that same space and make two double crochets. So this chain is counting as a double crochet. So this means we have three of them here. So you're going to yarn over, go in the next space and make three double crochets as well. Like that, yarn over in the next next space, make three double crochets, and this is what you're going to repeat until you get to this um, center here, and I'll be showing you what to do. Make three double crochets in each space that you see around.
so this is what I have now I have made three double crochets in all of these loops here and when you get to this center here what you'll do is yarn over and you're going to make double crochets in this space that you see so don't skip it just simply insert your hook in there and make two double crochets like that chain two yarn over and go back in that same space and make two more double crochets so we have made a shell here and this is going to be the point where we we make our increases so once you're done with that you're going to yarn over skip the next two double crochets and make three double crochets in the next space so we're back to doing the same exact thing we did on this part make three double crochets in each space so now you're going to count eight shells for the on the opposite side as well so that everything can match up remember we counted eight for this side so we have to count the same shells for the opposite side as well so you're going to count eight shells and you're going to stop at that point Don't forget we're making three double crochets in each of these spaces that we have around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means mine is going to stop on this eighth, eighth shell. So now once you get to the eighth one you make the three double crochets you're going to chain three one two three and you're going to turn your work and you're going to make double crochets on each and every stitch that you have until you get to the center here this is the center where we made the shell so you're going to make double crochets on top of each double crochets here and when you get to the center here you're going to make another shell and from there you continue with making double crochets on top of each stitch until you get to the end so make double crochets on the make a double crochet on top of the next stitch yarn over Make a double crochet on top of each and every stitch until you get to the center where we made the shell. Because every time we get to that point, we'll be making a shell. So keep that in mind. okay so we're now here um in the middle of our shell and what you're going to do there is make two double crochets chain two two more double crochets in that same space and then yarn over and continue with making one double crochet 
on each and every stitch until you get to the very last one. When you get to the end, you're going to end the row with a double crochet on top of the chain that you have. The very last stitch has to have a stitch on top of it. Like that. Then chain three, turn your work, and you're going to repeat that row. So we're making double crochets on each stitch, on top of each stitch. It's only in the center where we're making a shell. The rest is all the same. When you get to the center, like I said, make a shell of Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets all in the same space, and then continue with continue with double crochets on top of each stitch. Okay, so now that's the end of our row three. I'm no longer counting the rows we made for the um, for the design up here. I'm counting starting from the double crochets we started making. This was the row one, two, and three. So now you're going to repeat row three. All right. And you're going to, um, I'm going to make eight rows for a small to medium size. I'm going to make eight rows, but you might want yours longer or shorter. So go ahead and make as many rows as you want. And then I'll get back and show you guys what to do. So um, these are the rows that determine how long your top is going to be. So... The longer it is, the longer your top is going to be at the end. So, yeah. Repeat that third row until you have the length that you want. And I'll get back and show you guys what to do after that. So I have made my eight rows for the top. And this is where I want it to stop. So now the next thing you're going to do is So you're going to chain three turn your work and you're going to make double crochets down until you have two stitches left to the chain two so make double crochets until you have these two stitches left to this pointed part. Right there. Make double crochets until you have these two stitches left here. So once you get to the corner here and you're left with two stitches, you're going to yarn over and you're going to skip them and make a double crochet into the chain two space. So you're going to yarn over and make a double crochet there and that's what you should have. And then you're going to chain three and turn your work. And then you're going to yarn over, skip two stitches and make a double crochet on top of the next stitch like that and now we're trying to have this point um, straight like this we're no longer making increases here 
so once you're done with that you're going to make double crochets all the way up and chain three and make more double crochets coming down until you have two stitches left so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back once we are back to to this point so once you get to the end here what you're going to do is you're going to skip the next two double crochets and make a double crochet into that space that you're seeing so simply yarn over and place there a double crochet and then chain three turn your work and then you're going to skip the next two stitches and make a double crochet into the next and then continue making double crochets in each and every stitch until you get to the very last one so i worked my way back and this is what i have and what you'll do once you are left with the two stitches you're going to yarn over and go direct in the in the space that you have and make a double crochet so that's what you're going to repeat as you can see we are making this line straight here and we're going to do the same thing with this part after we're done with this one so i'm going to count uh, this portion of the top count starting from here this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so guys i'm going to make 22 rows for this side of the top for this side of the top until it's long enough to be tied around the back so that is all it's going to be up to you on how long you want it so i'm going to repeat the same pattern until the top is long enough to where i want it so chain three turn your work skip the two stitches and make a double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that so I went ahead and made and made a total of 22 rows and I'm counting from this point going towards this side. I'm not counting these other rows that we have on this side. So counting from here going this side, I have 22 rows and I feel that this is um enough to fit the the for the size that I'm making it for. So now we need to stop the increases on this side so that we can be able to tie this at the back. So you're going to chain three, turn your work. So we have been like immediately going to the next stitch and making a double crochet. So this time we're not going to do that. You're going to skip the two st the next two stitches, just like what we've been doing on this other side. So skip the two stitches and make a double crochet into the next. Like that. And then continue making the double crochets. So I now have two stitches left here and what you're going to do is skip them and make your last double crochet into the next space and then chain three, turn your work, skip the next two stitches and make a double crochet into the next just like how we've been doing it. I now have two stitches left so what you'll do is yarn over skip them and place a double crochet into the space that you see around so 
So now this is what we have for the very last uh, row. I'm left with only three stitches and I'm going to leave it at this. So what you'll do from here is chain one and cut the yarn. So that's how it looks. So now we're going to work on this other side doing the same exact thing we've done on this other side. So you're going to reattach your yarn and you're going to do it from the center of your work. This point where we were doing increases, that's where you are going to reattach the yarn. Actually, exactly where this, um, where we started going this other side, the very stitch that's here, you see it? That's where you're going to reattach the yarn and continue doing the same exact thing we did on this side. So you're going to chain one to secure the yarn and then chain three. And what you'll do is yarn over, skip the next two stitches. So you're skipping this stitch and this next stitch and placing a double crochet into the next like that. And make your normal double crochets until you get to the end. Don't forget to place a double crochet on the very last stitch because uh, we're doing the same exact thing we did on this other side. So I've made my way back here and I'm left with two stitches. Yarn over, skip them and make a double crochet, chain three, turn your work, skip the two stitches and make a double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat this just like what you did on this other side and then I'll meet you once you are done with it. So I'm back and I have completed both sides of my top and they both look, I ended, I ended them the same exact way. So the next thing we're going to do now is give our top a very nice edging. I'm going to use shelves for this bottom part of our top and we're going to use we're, go we're going to be working in these loops that we created. Okay, these pieces that we have. So don't cut your yarn here at the end. What you'll do from here is chain four and you're going to skip this space. Yes. So you're going to skip this space where the double crochet is and make a single crochet into the next. So we're skipping this and making a single crochet into this next space like that and then chain four again and single crochet into the next space like that and then from here you're not going to chain you're going to yarn over and make um, we're going to make five or six double crochets hold up we're going to make five double crochets into the next space. So simply yarn over, go direct in that space and make a double crochet. Make five of them. That's what you should have. So after the five double crochets, don't chain you're going to go direct into the next space and simply make a single crochet there like that and from here you're going to chain four so one two three four and you're going to single crochet into the next space 
chain four again and single crochet into the next and from here you're going to yarn over go direct into the next space and make five double crochets okay those are four five and from here you're going to go into the next space and make a single crochet like that from here you're going to chain up four and single crochet into the next space and then chain four again okay. and single crochet into the next space and from here you're going to yarn over go direct into the next space and make five double crochets oops three four five and then single crochet into the next space and then from here you're going to chain four one two three four single crochet into the next space chain four single crochet into the next space and when you get to the center here you're doing the same thing you're going to yarn over go direct into the next space and make five double crochets So you're going to repeat this pattern for our edging until you're going to repeat this pattern until you get to the very last chain or to the very last um, space that you have okay so make your way I'm going to make my way up here and then I'll get back and show you guys what to do after that So I'm now at the end of making the shells. I have chained four here and I'm making my last single crochet into this. Like that. So from here, what you'll do is chain two, turn your work. So I have made, I'll count them for you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have made seven shells for my top. So what you'll do from here is you're going to chain four. Sorry, I've already chained two, three, four. And you're going to make a single crochet into the next loop. Okay, make a single crochet into the next loop like that. Chain four again and make a single crochet into the next loop. And from here, what you'll do is yarn over and you're going to make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet. So remember, we have five double crochets here. So we're going to be making a double crochet on top of each of the double crochets that we made. So this is my very first double crochets. So I'm making there a stitch. And then you're going to chain two. And then yarn over and make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet. Chain two. Make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain two, and repeat that. And you can you can count them to make sure that they are five because that's how it should be. 
so from here you're going to make a single crochet into this next loop right here make a single crochet and then chain four one two three four make a single crochet into the next loop like that then yarn over and you're going to make a double crochet just like what we did here so go into the next double crochet on top of it and make a double crochet chain two a double crochet on top of the next chain two and repeat this pattern on all uh, on all the shells that we have made so far chain two this is my last one and then make a single crochet and then chain four single crochet into the next loop yarn over make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet then chain two and double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain two and repeat that so once you get to the end here you're going to end the row with a single crochet into the next loop once you get here at the end you're going to chain four and then you're going to single crochet in that same space like that and from here you're going to chain up four one two three four and now you're going to insert your hook between the stitch to make a picot design and then you're going to slip stitch after your slip stitch you're going to make a second single crochet in that same 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 space so from here you're going to make a single crochet on top of this next double crochet which is this one make a single crochet make another single crochet into the chain two space and then chain four and then you're going to make another picot and to make it you just pass your hook through the stitch I don't know if it's clear so what you do is insert your hook through the stitch like this like that and then pull through in both loops like that and then make another single crochet in that same space and then single crochet on top of the next double crochet single crochet in the chain two space then chain four and then make a picot design and then make another single crochet in that same in that same space and then single crochet on top of the next double crochet and then in the chain two space and then chain four and then make the design there and another single crochet in that same space and then you're going to single crochet on top of the next double crochet and by doing that you this is what you'll be getting So we're going to repeat that. So at the end you'll be having these picots here. So once you get to this point, what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip stitch in this next loop that you have right here. 
slip stitch and then you're going to yarn over I'm sorry you're going to go direct into the next double crochet here and make a single crochet and then you're going to make another single crochet into the chain two space right there and then chain four and then make your design there and then make another single crochet in that same space so this means that we are making two single crochets in in every chain two space and we are making the first double crochet and then making the picot design and then making another single crochet in that same space so we're making the picots in the in the chain to space and not on top of the stitch so from here you're going to make a single crochet on top of the double crochet and then make a single crochet into the chain to space and then chain four and then make the design here and then after that make another single crochet in that same space a single crochet on top of the double crochet a single crochet in the chain two space and then make a chain of four and make the picot edging and then single crochet so this is what we are having so far and that's that's the pattern for this last row on this side So every time you're done with the shell, you go and make a slip stitch into the next loop. Like that. And then from here you go direct on top of the next double crochet. On top of the... On the next shell. And make there a single crochet. And then make another single crochet in the chain two space and then make a chain of four and create your design then another single crochet So it's, it has started to rain and it's windy but I hope you guys can still hear me because I want to finish this video today and we are almost done. So you're going to continue with this you're going to continue with this design until you're done with all the shells so now guys this is what i have i love the beautiful edging we've given this top and i ended my row here with a slip stitch so you can end it with either slip stitch or a single crochet it will all work so from here we're going to make single crochets for the rest of the top coming up up to the other corner so we're going to start from this corner and making single crochets all around the top 
until we get to this other corner so we're not touching this bottom part again because it's already done being worked on so chain one and make two single crochets in that space make two single crochets into that next space and here you're going to make a single crochet into this next space make two of them and then make one single crochet on top of of these three stitches like that and then make two single crochets in this next space actually we might need to make three of them here and in this next space we're going to make three rather three single crochets so make three of them all in that space so now we're working uh, we're going to be making three single crochets in this well there are no stitches here so you're just going to be going direct and making the way in there to make the stitches and you'll be making three of them in each space until we get to this point and then I'll show you how to work on this but it's basically the same thing we're going to be doing there so make single three single crochets in each space so I'm making single crochets here so once you get to the this is going to be the the part that goes around the neck or the chest so we're still making three single crochets here as well in each space So we're now working around this part that's gonna go around the neck so what you'll do here is you're going to make a single crochet in in the same space where these stitches are so you're simply inserting your hook in there and then making a single crochet okay and then you're going to make four single crochets or five around this area around this chain so that's three four five let's do six so you're going to make a single crochet where these two double crochets are like that and then make we made how many one two three four five six we made six single crochets here so you're going to repeat that and make um, six single crochets in this space as well so that's two three four five and six and then you're going to make a single crochet in the same space where these stitches are just like what we just did on the other side like that and as you can see that's how our top is looking so far make three double crochets here because now we're back to um, working around this area so you're going to repeat the same thing we did on this part so you're going to repeat it on the other side and I'll meet you back at the end so I'm now working towards the end with my single crochets 
So you just have to do it until you get back to this corner where we started making this. So from here you're going to chain up four and then turn your work. And now, um, after chaining four, you're going to yarn over and skip two stitches and then make a double crochet into the next stitch like that and then chain two yarn over skip two stitches make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet rather after skipping the two stitches then you make the double crochet and then chain two yarn over skip two stitches and then make a double crochet on top of the next stitch chain two skip two stitches and make a double crochet into the next chain two skip two stitches and make a double crochet into the next stitch and you're going to repeat that So you're going to do this making um, one double crochet separated with the two chains until you get back to you know the very first shell here you're going to stop somewhere here but let me work my way up and then I'll show you where to stop So now you will need to stop where the, sh the first shell is. So I'm just going to make my last double crochet. One, two, three. Right there. And that's my last double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to make our last row for this side. So from here you're going to actually chain two, turn your work, and then you're going to make a single crochet into the uh, chain two space, and then chain four, and make a picot here. And then you're going to single crochet again in that same space, like that, and from here, you're going to make a single crochet on top of the double crochet a single crochet into the chain two space and then chain four and create your picot design here and then another single crochet and that's what you should have and then from here you continue with a single crochet another single crochet in the chain two space and then chain four and make your picot and then make another single crochet so we're just doing the same thing we did here for for the top for the bottom part of our top We're making the picot design in the chain two space and making the two single crochets and then a single crochet on top of the double crochet yeah that's it so that's what i have now so you're going to repeat this until you get back to to the end here and then you're going to repeat the same exact thing we did here on this other side so you're going you're first going to make the mesh part like this one the chain two double crochet chain two double crochet is what you're going to make first and then make the design this design and then yeah and then from there we're going to add the straps and we're done so go ahead and complete that 
So I'm ending my row here with um, well, I already made a picot here so I'm simply going to end my row with a single crochet there and another single crochet in this next space sorry and then slip stitch I need to add more yarn here slip stitch and pull tight like that so um, this is what you will be having so now we're going to make the straps I already made the first one here so we're going to make the second one together so for the straps you have an option of making your two straps here at the this is going to be the neck part so you can make two straps here and make two more straps for the back part right here um, I'm going to go with the option of making only two straps and they will I'll be crisscrossing it at the back like this so this is going to be this side and the second one that we're going to create will come will come across so I hope that makes sense but let's go ahead so you're going to make a knot And then you're going to attach it in this very first space that you have right here so pull the yarn through and chain one to secure the yarn and then you're going to chain up three yarn over and make a double crochet in that same space where the chain is or where you attached your yarn like that and then you're going to chain three again turn your work and you're now going to make a double crochet between the two stitches okay so you're making there a double crochet like that then chain three turn your work yarn over and make a double crochet into this the space so this is what you're repeating until your strap is um, long enough to how you want it to be and if you're not a fan of thick straps you can go with the chain just make a long chain and tie it around um, the neck so this is the pattern for the strap guys go ahead and make it as long as you want for as long as you want and yeah I'll get back just to show you the finished project so guys um, I'm done with my straps and I made a total of 70 stitches starting from well you know when counting the chain one and double crochet so I made 70 of them so what you'll do is crisscross it this one goes this other side and then you are going to pass it through these loops and you're going to tie you're going to tie it until you you're comfortable with how with how it looks so other than that guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you all in my next tutorial.